Good evening, everyone, and welcome to sports. Happy Juneteenth and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Cajuns fans got to watch UL football win the Sun Belt and New Orleans Bowl title like proud parents last fall. So it's no surprise that they won Team of the Year in our Raging Awards. We've reached the final day of this new presentation, but we saved the best for last, most valuable Cajun. Our final award is last but certainly not least, most valuable player. That's a long list at UL across the various sports. But for you, Megan, who stands out as the MVP? Now, the thing was, when we tried to discuss this earlier, we had, we had a good bit of people that we could have picked from, but my MVP is quarterback Levi Lewis. You know, he's a heck of a football player. You know, to me, uh, it's not necessarily about the passing touchdowns. To me, it's about the young man is a product of his work. Right? He is relentless. Uh, that wasn't given. You know, he, he's reaped what he sowed. He played five seasons with the Cajuns. He set the passing touchdown record at 65 last season. He finished his career with 74. And then he also finished second all-time in passing records, just about 20-plus yards shy of uh, Cajuns quarterback Jake DeLone. Yeah, and I mean, that's some legendary company. Whenever you talk Definitely. about being next to Jake DeLone, passing Jake DeLone when it comes to the touchdown record. And I mean, he's a guy that actually spanned two eras because he was at the end of the HUD era and then obviously was throughout right. the Billy Napier era. So that is a really good choice. But for me, it's going to be simple and it's Carson Rockefeller from UL Baseball. You got to have that one guy that kind of, you know, kind of like the sun, everything circles around it. And uh, he's been that. And that's that's been a saving grace for us for sure. Well, I think he had a really good case for Sun Belt Player of the Year. Entering the postseason, he led the conference in batting average while finishing second in homers, RBIs, and steals. His combination of power and speed was the number one reason the Cajuns reached the postseason for the first time since 2016. They say a lot of times, your best players make the biggest plays in the biggest games, and it felt like very often this year when the Cages needed a play, they went to Carson Rock. Definitely, there's no argument there. So here's how it works for the final time. Go to the sports page on KTC.com to vote. Voting will end at 3 p.m. tomorrow, and we will reveal the winner in the 6 p.m. sportscast.